Are any spirits occupying our body while we are asleep in astral traveling? <laughs> Not my body. No. No. So we're still sovereign in our space even when we are asleep. Are we vulnerable while we're asleep? Are we susceptible while we're asleep? Potentially, depending on who it is that you are, what kind of frequency you are running, what kind of life you are living, what kind of thoughts you are thinking. If you are a low vibrational individual and you go to sleep, well, you take that vibration with you into that state of consciousness. So that might make you a bit more susceptible to being harassed or visited by lower vibrational energies and or entities. You're a high vibrational being. You're also somebody who probably prays or sets the space or tones or has an intention. Maybe you play around in your workshop space, like we all do, with the imaginal mind and we're manifesting and we're doing some cool stuff while we're in the hypnagogic state, all of which is extremely high vibration. When you fall to sleep in that high vibrational state, that vibration doesn't go away. It grids you. It grids you. It grids you and protects you. So a question like that makes me wonder if you're a little fearful about astral travel or a little fearful about lucid dreaming or a little bit fearful about leaving your body. But let me tell you something. You've been doing it since you were born. Every night when you go to sleep or when you were taking a little nap as a baby, you left your body. You came back to it. You're still here, aren't you? You're just, you're fine, aren't you? There are no beings that are oppressing you. There are no beings that are possessing you because you still retain your sovereignty. So it's nothing I would worry about. And there's a whole bunch of fear porn out there. <laughs> Let me just say some dark matrix kind of stuff where people say, oh, as soon as you leave your body, you've got other entities that are tagging you, that are implanting you. Like there's a whole bunch of people saying a whole bunch of stuff. Let me just tell you something. Don't be afraid. Abide and occupy the frequency of love. Abide in and occupy the frequency of love. Prime yourself before you go to sleep. Maybe you want to say a prayer. Maybe you want to reach out to your emissaries and your team. Maybe you want to set some crystals out in your bedroom, but just have that intention that you're protected at all times. This is your vessel. Let's, let's not forget. You are sovereign in your space. Any space that you occupy in your physical body is an extension of the totality of your consciousness, and you're in control of that. No ambient errant spirit could ever be, unless, of course, we don't believe that about ourselves, and we have a different signature about ourselves. It's not anything I would ever worry about. So I don't think you need to worry about that either. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.